Hello friends, today in this session we are going to study about the Spearman's rank correlation test. So when we apply the Spearman's rank correlation test, the research question that we need to address or we usually or typically address is the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient between two variables is significantly different from zero. That is to say either it is positive or it's negative as the Spearman rank correlation coefficient that varies between minus 1 to positive 1 okay so it would be somewhere minus 1 to 1 so the test or the research question that we wish to address is it's not it's different from 0 that is to say it shouldn't be 0 or it's not 0 whether it's plus 1 or positive correlation or minus 1 or negative correlation that's what we have to figure out now the important points to consider the data here must be a paired random sample of ordinal or rank data so even if a data which is provided to us what we try to do is we rank it okay and we then try to find the correlation between those two variables so there will be a paired means we will have two uh, variables and once we have the variables we we do the ranking for each variable and then we calculate the correlation on the ranks when data is continuous and it is unreasonable to assume uh, that the variables are normally distributed so data could be continuous but we uh, do not have a significant reason to believe that the data is continuous or the relationship and the third uh, the third thing that needs to be there is the relationship between the variables is assumed to be linear okay these are the important points that we need to consider so now the hypothesis testing what we see over here is the null hypothesis we take the null hypothesis as r is equal to zero we start with this the null hypothesis is that our rho that is a correlation coefficient is equal to zero and our alternate hypothesis that is h1 where rho is not equal to zero fine so this is the basic understanding of spearman rank correlation coefficient so let's move ahead and take an example now here we wish to test the relationship between the price of a convenience item with the distance from an art museum this was a research i have taken this example from a research paper like where it was assumed or uh, the researchers want us to study or they uh, they wanted to study whether the price from an art museum the price of a convenience item varies or depends on the distance from an art museum they measured it and then they figured it out so i wanted to take that example and let us do it so the null hypothesis over here is there is no significant relationship between the price of a convenience item and distance from the art museum that is to say our rho is equal to zero that is there is no significant relationship okay so obviously the alternate hypothesis would be there is significant relationship okay so let's uh, create our data so i have created two variables or two vectors that is distance and this is the price so once these two vectors are created we run our correlation test so core dot test is the primary function that we apply core dot test these are my two variables distance and price it is case sensitive so i need to be careful so distance and price the method is spearman okay and alternative I keep it two-sided two-sided means I'm taking a two-tailed test okay so just run it you get the output so this is the output I have Spearman's rank correlation rho okay rho is the R that we get the correlation coefficient the data the two variables are distance and price okay and uh, the p-value is 0.0124 that is significantly less than 0.05 that is my threshold so alternate hypothesis true that rho is not equal to zero and uh, the rho that we have calculated is minus 0.75 that is this is close to minus one that is to say the relationship between two variables the two variables is negative and when i say the relationship is negative that is to say if one increases the other decreases okay you can also do this and check the relationship using a scatter plot you can simply make a small plot and check the distance 
the relationship between these two variables okay distance and uh, price okay when i plot it so we get a plot i zoom it and see you can see the plots are moving downward the points are moving downwards okay that itself is an indication that the relationship is negative and the row that we have calculated is minus 0 0.75 and the level of significance is good enough the p value is less than 0 0.05 so this is how we accept the alternate hypothesis fine this is how we do a hypothesis testing for a Spearman rank correlation problem. Hope you enjoyed it. Do like, follow and subscribe. Do share it with your friends and keep visiting for new videos. Thank you. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle.